Hey everybody, this is Hockey 6 with Draco Magnus. Hey everybody! Alright, uh, since this is my second Let's Play of a request from Shante08, plus to make it a little more uh, better that uh, her birthday's coming up, so this could be a good present for her. Happy birthday, Shante! Right. I don't know you, but happy birthday! <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna upgrade the contents. Alright, that's good. So, going for Infernal, huh? Uh, yeah, very funny, no. <laughs> Ruined all the fun. Well, sorry I can't unlock Inferno yet. Oh, you haven't unlocked it? No, you need to beat the campaign to do it. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right, and you're doing this on my Xbox, and I've never done the game here at my Xbox. Yes. On it. Random gibberish! In the year 1191, European knights of the Third Crusade entered the capital city of Acre, 30 miles from Jerusalem. Hi! Managed to do it! Under orders from King Richard, 3,000 civilian prisoners were detained. They were held ransom for the holy relic once taken from Saladin. Damn it. <laughs> I got the first one. As the hot summer wore on, Saladin dug in, to, uh, dug in and refused to negotiate. Richard grew frustrated on sure the attack on Jerusalem. Damn it. <laughs> they really need to make this shorter, or er, uh, longer running, those quotes on there. You can't really see. By the way, the holy relic they're talking about is the piece of the cross of Jesus. If only I had the DLC for this. Mm, oh well. I don't actually continue the whole story of it. A lot of bloody water. Why is the dude sewing a cross to his chest? He's very devout Christian. <laughs> like insane devotion. Well, this is a crazy poet. What do you expect? Crazy artists and their weird ass ideas. Freaking Picasso cut his ear off, I think. Huh. That is one powerful ass arrow. Wish Lake can use that. Yeah. My fault. Hmm. So this is a mature, er, a mature game, correct? Yes. So we can curse all we want. Die, motherfucker! Fuck shit balls. Ah. Oh wait, the last game you did was a mature game. I don't know why I'm so surprised. Maybe it's because I've been playing an E-rated game and I want to cut loose. Come on! You're fighting God's warriors! This is how you do it! Die! Damn. Should I be concerned about you? I mean, you're killing regular humans. Well, sorry that I'm into, um, into uh, his poetry, because I am reading it. But what does that have to do with murder? I don't know, it's just like killing! Clearly. I should be concerned, shouldn't I? You should be really concerned that, uh, that you're actually in this room with me. Why is it raining fire? Well, they're shooting catapults. Oh, well, that makes more sense. Die! But they don't want to die. They want to live! Live! Oh, God, it's like playing whack-a-mole! Only bloodier! And they're not moles, they're people. You're the last one. And there's no ticket payoff. Is that it? Yeah. Hey, 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 turn course! Turn course! No! God damn it, now I gotta repair that, you asshole! Ah! Like, no one knows how to jump in any other video game. Yeah, but have you ever seen a human do uh, double jump? Yes. Oh! Yeah, I have. Not in real life, mind you, but... Yeah, I've seen it done in video games. Surprise ah! attack! Ah! Oh my god, that hurt. That hurt. Oh. <laughs> Santa? Why would you think that's Santa? 
I do wrong? The bishop was sure of us. But the bishop is a lying asshole. I have done nothing wrong. Ah, that hurt. Let's go. Bring on the music. Well, he's kind of using his soul right now. Can he get back to you on that? Die, demon! Hey, he's not a demon. He's dead. Ah! Let go of me! Let go of me! Wait a minute, how is this even possible? So, dude, if you ever get touched by death, shouldn't you, like, shouldn't you, like, be, I don't know, turn a skeleton? No, you die. Death's touch kills whoever he touches. However, you are a soul, so that won't really affect you. If you were a living person, then it would affect you. Hey, can I borrow this? Die, you son of a bitch! Get a little stab happy, isn't he? Now we're talking. And it's the only thing that can kill you, asshole. I find it weird how his health hasn't gone down at all. Look at me! Look at me! Look at me, you son of a bitch! Woohoo! Dang. Now I have souls! I am powerful. You did the ch did you do the cheating thing again? No. All right. Uh, I guess I can work on impaling. Better. Let's go. Care to explain the soul mechanic? The soul mechanic is where every demon that demon you kill, you uh, gain a bit of a uh, bit of soul at each time. But um, the way how we're starting, there's. And um, since you have been collecting a whole bunch of like souls often, um, you need to upgrade your both dark and light, which are called holy and unholy. For your unholy, you have to uh, punish all the damned souls, or holy, you have to absolve them. Yeah, story stuff is going on now though. Sorry to interrupt, but yes, yeah, story. Why is there a dead crow? Yeah, that that's kind of weird. Crows are carry-on birds. They should be eating everything that's dead. What happened happened to my house? Wow, that must have been some wild party last night. Father? Meh. Sucks to be him. Oh, shit. Uh, I find that funny. He has the cross on his chest now, so he just traced Wait. it. Wait, where's Beatrice? 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 Well, you don't even see her yet. You don't know. And now you know. Oh my god. She's naked and dead. Half well, naked, part, actually. part, not even half, like quarter naked. All it's showing is one boob. Why? She's been smoking. Yeah, that's what caused her death. Not the sword in her chest. <laughs> smoking. <laughs> That. What is this? Beatrice, what's happening to you? Beatrice, I have to go with you, my lover. I gave my word. Well, you shouldn't have done what that. word? Then. I don't understand. Beatrice. What word? And her body still just lying there. Uh, 
Well, this must be the apocalypse. The dead are walking the earth. I don't need Night of the Living Dead. Not the Night of the Living Dead. Ghostbusters. Oh, well, no ghosts. Never mind. Just demons. Die. That would have been funnier if you threw him into the fire. Beatrice! I'm coming! Wow, this is a long hill. It's gonna take you a while. Geez, not even the throat of the world in Skyrim is this long. I'm kidding, it's much longer. Beatrice's statue. It's the save stone of this game. Naked woman, really? Okay, I see. In front of the church, nonetheless. And then here you have health up. Fountains. Here's a little advice, you just might as well go get it, because uh, later on in the game, it's gonna thing. And is her an orgasm. I was gonna say, is her soul getting raped? Why, Dante? Why did you break your promise? I don't understand. What the hell is happening? How do you not understand? That, that That's pretty self-explanatory, I thought. Her cross. How did she leap? The cross, I mean the beast has turned me back. Please absolve all my sins. Only God can absolve your sins, not some silly uh, priest and bishop. Is it me or does that bishop look like a demon himself? I swear to God. I swear to God, I did not broke the church. Damn it, Hockey! What did you do? I didn't do it. Ah, uh, bats from hell. And now might be a good idea to explain Whoa, the cross. What the hell did I do this? Kevin, 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 or Hockey, 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 explain the cross to them. Uh, cross power. It's a, it, uh, it's a ranged weapon. It, um. Since you have locked Beatrice's soul in, into the cross, you can now have a new ability of either punishing or absolve. Here is punishment. Press X, and you cut. Or, press B, keep tapping B. Cross the face. You will. Doing either one, I believe, gives you points in either holy or unholy, correct? Yes. Uh, for these minions, they, uh, they only give you a small portion so, I guess they, uh, they only give you 10. So, along the way, you'll find like, some collectibles. Um, can't name them top of my head. And are we going to get all of these collectibles? Go for 100% or no? Yes, sir. Alright. Well, I know one of the collectibles will be really annoying, and that's uh, collecting your father's coins. I assume. Hmm. All right. Wait, it's your father's coins? So that's what the coins were this whole time? Yes. Huh. Uh, jump on the cross, jump on the cross, jump on the cross. Do yeah. you even need help? No, but it's, uh, no, no, but it's a good way to do this. Okay. So here's the deal. You just line up or climb down, or you just hold the right bumper and you just slide down quickly. And to dismount, look down. And okay, who opened the gate? Kill all hell of demons. Escape! <laughs> oh! Damn it! Come on, cross man, cross man! You don't have my favorite holy technique yet, correct? Not yet. Alright. But I'm working on it. Uh, I'm not going to tell you guys what that is yet. Okay. Not until we actually get it. 
And I believe Beatrice just said something to us. Don't forget on uh, on uh, no, don't forget her. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, fire spirits. How do you beat those? For this, you have to shoot your cross because you can't hit them. No, that's like a regular thing. So, cross will burn them, and then you can just slash. You mean the cross will freeze them, and then you can cut them in half? Yeah. That cross is burned out. Of course there would be an ha, Right under your feet, too. I hear you, Beatrice. Oh, that would have been horrible. Who designed the catacombs of this church? Definitely the bishop. But the bishop was crazy. The demonic bishop from hell. At least I think he's from hell. Wait, Father, are you sure we should be putting vents of fire in our catacombs? Totally, let's do it! I will absolve you of all your sins if you put down the fire pit. Alright. Well, this is how we're gonna start. What the hell's down there? Looks like a ghost. Ah, oh, this is the Ghostbusters! I knew it! But we're in old times. I'm pretty sure the Ghostbusters never even exist. These are the medieval Ghostbusters. Who are you gonna call? Is that the gate of the hell? What the? Gate of hell, yes. Oh my god. Is that who I think it is? Who do you think it is? Virgil. This is the great poet. Beatrice. Question. Why did Dante ask for pity? Because he thought it was a sign of God. Like God will actually forgive him. I am Beatrice, and when I am finally before my Lord, I will praise you to him. Poet, I beg you, give me strength. I will deliver her from this fate, whatever the cost. And this is your first uh, magic ability. Um, this one is called the right, uh, the Righteousness Path, where this ability allows you to shoot ice out of your cross and make you feel like a uh, charging. What you have here are purple ones, which for mana. Where the hell did Virgil go? He doesn't fight. He's only a guy. Dick! Now how you do this is by holding the L, uh, L bumper and also then you can just shoot, uh, shoot him out. To repent, you have an uh, ability which allows you to move quickly, so your damage can go twice. Well, that's fast. redemption, not. And what the hell is that? Okay, what did you do now? Oh god! So look at the exterminator! Ah! Down, boy, down! Sit! Sit! Something's on him! Good boy. Well, yeah, that's the thing that's driving him. Keep on spamming. Whoa! Watch the feet! Why are they doing tricks? Alright, boy. Time for you to get down. Care to explain what that RT thing is? RT is uh, when you grab the person, you know, so you can either kill him or or you can do a quick attack. Right. Or rip ah. them in half and use your su Oh, you got the Beastmaster. Beastmaster is the same thing as the ability to use the buttons to like slam things and there are enemies down here, so... Well, show them all the attacks. I know he has more than just slamming things. He also breathes fire. He's like a dragon. Only without the wings. We're looking awesome. What he also can do, he can also grab them, and uh, he can either eat them, or throw them. Magic. Burn! Burn for your sins! Way to hit nothing. Die, foul beast! He just wants to play! 
What also can uh, do is when you have like huge objects, you can use the Beastmaster to either open or push things. So he's just like a uh, mouse. Well, technically, you're the Beastmaster and you're riding a beast of some kind. So now, since we open the gate, we're going down to hell, people. And down we descend into the depths of hell. If only you had a sailcloth! Wait, who needs sailcloth? I make my own entry. Sailcloth would have made it a lot softer of a landing. Oh, boo hoo, cry me. Alright, well, since now we just completed the tra uh, trailer of the whole thing, uh, might as well save. So, in the next time of um, Dante's Inferno of my Let's Play, we hope to see you guys uh, mm -hmm. then, alright? So, laters. Adios.